Snow turns the mountains into a magical winter wonderland. It dampens all sounds and the world seems as if it is standing still. The white layer makes the familiar look new again. Like a fresh coat of paint on the living room walls. That's why I love to go on a hike after a snowfall and just drop everything I'm working on. After my mandatory cup of coffee at home, I lace up my hiking boots, put on my thick winter coat and make my way to the mountains. I love to go on a hike on my own and clear my head. Over the years, I've learned that I need to schedule time alone to recharge my battery. Before, I would bring headphones and listen to a business podcast to try to be efficient and productive. However, I've since embraced the slow living lifestyle. I want to be more present in the moment, be more mindful with my time. Being more present, more intentional, is a practice that takes, well, practice. For the first 20 to 30 minutes, I tend to have a racing mind, no matter what my intentions are. But as I keep walking and breathe in the fresh air, my mind eventually quiets down. I've always felt connected to the mountains. When I'm far away, I miss them. My perspective of time changes when I'm surrounded by mountains and contemplate how they have been here for probably millions of years. The daily stresses of life seem to evaporate into thin air. The mountains stabilize my unstable mind. And all that is amplified by the snow. The vast white space, the dusted evergreen trees, it's so beautiful. I like to just sit down for a while and take it all in. Being in awe of nature is a shortcut to becoming more present. It helps me to notice the beauty that surrounds me. The same goes for the forest. The Japanese practice something called Shinrin-yoku, which translates as forest bathing. It doesn't mean taking an actual water bath, but instead being immersed in nature, taking in the forest through your senses. It's about taking your time, aimless wandering, listening to the birds singing, and feeling the breeze on your skin. Connecting with nature in this way is literally a bridge to instant joy and calm. Walking through the forest with this intention allows me to notice the small things that would normally escape my attention. Like an interesting egg-shaped top of a small pine tree topped with icy snow. A wood painting of a bear in the forest. Or these male pine cones. What I found out is that the big ones with woody, spirally scales most people know are actually the female cones. These male cones release pollen into the air, which eventually finds and fertilizes the female cones. The snow also evokes childhood memories for me. Seeing children building a snowman or sledding down a hill takes me back to those happy days of carefree play. Drawing figures. Picking up the snow, feeling the texture, shaping it into a snowball, snowball fights, and just throwing it up in the air. These days, it's so common to grab our phone or watch Netflix whenever we have nothing to do. The irony is that right now, you're watching this video on your phone or computer. However, I invite you to put your devices away the next time you feel that urge and instead allow yourself to be bored and be present in the moment. Go for a walk in the forest or a park. Take your time, let your mind wander and observe what happens.
not only will you feel calm and recharged, you might also notice that interesting creative ideas bubble to the surface and your imagination opens up. I mean, this is clearly a snow-covered dinosaur, right? Returning home from a mindful winter morning hike like this, there's nothing like stretching my legs and relaxing on the couch with a cup of coffee and start the workday. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you're interested in slow and more intentional living, consider subscribing to this channel. And I will see you in the next video.